uh how y'all doing happy sabbath in my world which is saturday happy whenever you'll see this in your world okay uh bienvenidos mi canal welcome back to my channel if you know me um if you do know me thank you so much for coming back to see a girl i appreciate you if you do not recognize this face right here my bad my name's latrice nice to meet you and this right here is faith by latrice yes uh -huh. where faith is the muscle we exercise around here now let's get on into it no dilly dally hey y'all <laughs> I know it's been a minute. Um, it's been a minute. It's been some weeks. I haven't been counting, so I don't really know how long it's been. But uh, if you have clicked here, if you've uh, viajado a verme otra vez, uh, if you come to see me again, and you see the title of this video, this is uh, going to be a little different, okay, uh, since it has been a minute. Um, I thought I'd come back to y'all with a little get to know me, okay, after <laughs> having months of hear me talk and yell at y'all and all the things. Um, this is gonna be a little different, a little re-intro because uh, today is November 11th in my world as I'm recording this. And it will mark the one year anniversary since I started posting videos on YouTube. So, um, yay, happy birthday to my channel. <laughs> um, that's that on that. So I'm a little nervous, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It's been a minute. A lot has happened. A lot has happened. So one of my last few videos, uh, before I stopped making some, um, I made a video about uh, saying that I was going to stop posting videos for a minute. And basically, I gave y'all a little piece of something. But if y'all remember, if y'all remember me telling y'all on this channel that God kind of forced me to be uh, transparent with y'all. So I had to come back and be transparent. <laughs> so, um... I gave y'all a little something like, you know, life is lifing to me right now. And I find out, I found out that I had been fatigued, which the definition of that we learned together was that it's being weary, right? Uh, being weary of the time, being not sure if things is going to work out, like all the things, right? And so we just going to jump right into it. I'm going to tell y'all off top, um, this ain't scripted. I didn't pre-write nothing down. It's just going to be from the dome, right? Boom. Uh, shout out to my shirt and shout out to my beanie. Shout out to my shirt. Uh, shout out to Toby, Fat Nail, and the babies. This ain't all of them. It's some more because, you know, procreation. Um, but shout out to them. I got this shirt when I went to go see Toby in person at the Novo in LA. Top two best concerts I've ever been to. And I ain't even going to front. Right now, he's still holding the number one spot. Anyways, shout out to my beanie because Jesus is the way. <laughs> all right, we're going to jump right into it. Um... Ha! Okay, so let's re-intro um, if you don't know me. Hi, my name is Latrice. I am in America, North America, United States to be exact, to be specifically. Um, I, I'm a creative and people say that and they mean a lot of things. What do I mean? What do I mean when I say that? I study fashion merchandising. I end up taking more uh, design classes than merchandising classes so yes if you see me sometimes looking like all colorful and all like all the things i love color uh color makes me happy i dress how i either feel or how i want to feel that's me um i live in california eso uh where it's mostly sunny and we don't really get seasons down here southern california to be specific we don't really get seasons down here that's that on that um i write Okay, so I'm a oof, skip titles. I'm a writer, technically an author now. Have one book out already that I probably never told y'all about. <laughs> it's called Fruit of Her Labor. I could show y'all actually. One second. It is called uh, Fruit of Her Labor, and she's here somewhere. This is mine. So I'm an author, and this is my first book. I'm actually working on my second one at, currently at this time. Uh, that's that on that. So I'm an author. I write poetry. Um, not always on purpose. I kind of think in poems. So it, I'll be writing in my journal, and then it comes out poetic. And that's really what my first book is. And low-key, it's kind of what my second book is, too. Not really the poetry part. Yes, the poetry, but like my journal. But anyways. Um, so... Yes, I'm a writer, I'm an author, I design, I am a pattern maker, I sew. I made an outfit for the Beyonce concert that I went to in September and I made the whole thing myself. 
the jacket top whatever i'm a creative that's all on that um but i know y'all probably don't care about all that other stuff right what y'all probably are more interested in is the fact that i'm uh, bilingual hmm? yes um because i've gotten lots of questions about that and wow uh so i've gotten lots of questions about that i have been asked that my entire life and so let's just get into that shall we this is Barry, by the way. This is my comfort. <laughs> my little squishmallow. Um, all right, so boom. Uh, yes, I'm bilingual. I speak English and Espanol. I am fluent. Um, ya hace unos 25 años, okay? Um, I... So here's my background. I live in... I don't know if y'all within Long Beach, okay. So I live in Southern California. I was put in a dual immersion program um, when I was five years old. And I dual immersion program since kindergarten. So from kindergarten to middle school, eighth grade, I half my education was in English, half of it was in Spanish. So all I have in my memory, all of my recollection, I've only spoken these two languages, okay? Just follow me. Um, so I've only spoken those two languages. Um, nobody in my family is uh bilingual in spanish nobody in my family speaks spanish nobody in my family is of latin descent as far as i know like my immediate family cousins aunts uncles nobody they're not of latin descent not by blood um as far as i know i'm the only one right and i grew i've been having this accent in my second language since i've been speaking it so much so that in about like second or third grade uh I was speaking more Spanish than English that I forgot English and had to go to like an intercession summer school and I let me just go for English classes because I was coming home speaking Spanish like mommy get that in the corra and my mom was like ma'am little ma'am we speak English in this house so what's up <laughs> yeah so that is that right so my entire life I've been receiving the same like five six seven questions like for the past 25 years and so, oh God, come on, Jesus. Hmm. Um, I've often gotten offended by those questions. And because to me, it was people questioning my identity. They're, they're questioning my existence. And so people would ask me, first of all, where are you from? They smile, they look, oh my gosh, wow, what is that? So they get curious and then they get confused and then they get intrigued. But then they're like, oh my God, the nervous system is going off because they don't know what box to put me in um so it's you know where are you from where are your parents from how do you know this language why do you speak it so well all the things so all of these questions were coming along and for years i just smiled answered the questions but like secretly got offended by those questions and i got offended because i felt like they were questioning my identity and my existence i'm like what how dare you type thing but oh recently hmm huh? Um, in this past year, so from like March to October, and even currently, I'm not even going to front, uh, life has unraveled in a way that I had not expected it. And I realized that I was dealing with delayed grief of my best friend, and her name is Alicia. And um, my best friend was murdered. I think I said this in another video, that I, not in detail, but... Um, my best friend was murdered eight years ago and I, we, our souls were intertwined and when she left, she took a piece of my soul. But what I didn't know is when she left, she also took some of my identity or what I thought she took my identity because I was wrapped up in this title of being her best friend and I loved her and I was like, wow, um, she meant a lot more than just the best friend title and it was like, she chose me. And people prior to her, and I mean, yes, I met her when we were 11. And before her, I had experienced rejection in, uh, like, elementary, right? Rejection at a young age in different le on different levels. And yes, it starts early because that is when the enemy to your life tries to get you. You don't kill a king when he's fully grown and equipped and aware. You kill them when they're little. This, if you read the Bible or know any story, they try to do that uh, with Jesus and Moses. Um, kill every kid under, uh, every male under the age of two. 
because we trying to get this we not trying to have this messiah come we need to kill all the kids so he don't grow up it was a failure but <laughs> nonetheless so um i had the spirit of rejection at a young age and it was a deep it was a root of rejection right and unbeknownst to me that root was being watered okay by life by people by imperfect people by people in my family by people i encountered and then because i had this uh rejection starting early my actions were coming out of that and then it just continued to water the root and the root would go when it would water it so i'm doing things thinking i'm protecting myself when really i'm hindering <laughs> my self and others and so my best friend alicia she meant more to me than i even realized at the time so much so that when she left i was like oh my gosh my identity went with her i don't know who i am and so once we skip a few here we are now 2023 in november 11th as we uh recap and show y'all that identity is a thing that i'm coming into now with this delayed grief I have of my best friend and finally being cracked open. A funny thing. Let's get to this devotional real quick. So to let y'all know I'm not lying. Uh, November 11th, this right here is storytelling. And I just hop, so happened to have had to tell my story today to y'all. I don't know where this is going because. <clears throat> but let me actually. Yes, I do. Because let me show you where it's going. So the scripture is Matthew 13, 32. Thir chapter 13 verses 34 to 35 it says jesus constantly used these illustrations when speaking to the crowds in fact because the prophet said that he would use so many he never spoke to them without at least one illustration for it had been prophesied this is jesus talking i will talk in parables i will explain mysteries hidden since the beginning of time let me read you this one little part it says we enjoy listening to stories because they help us to relate with a concept and personalize an idea we hear a lofty explanation and struggle to understand. But a story illustrates the same thought and we become connected to it. I guess the point of this video, other than uh, a get to know me thing, if y'all want to send in questions, y'all can do that. But I feel like I had to get to the base of reintroducing myself to y'all because I didn't really, hadn't really known who I was like prior to today or prior to this season. Um, and I want to say it's really been the last three weeks where I had to, where I had been cracked open and brought to the bottom and had everything excavated and uprooting this root of rejection that I had to realize, hmm, who is Latrice? And let me tell you how I'm figuring that out, huh? I'm going to the one who created me and who put all of this weird stuff, creative stuff, loud stuff, uh, quirky stuff um interesting stuff poetic stuff vibrant stuff inside of me i'm going to that good old book huh yeah <laughs> and i had to realize i had to believe or have to believe or need to choose to believe the things that god says about me the things that i already know that the things that i already know that i am right because over time life wants to tell you who you are People want to tell you who you are, society, media, all, everybody wants to tell you who you are. And if you have so many coming at you at the same time and you don't even know who you are, that's going to cause confusion. It's going to cause like a breakdown at some point. And uh, yeah, so I didn't really, I was out here walking around like I knew, right? But God was like, but do you actually believe what I said about you? Do you believe? The things you're saying. I hope this is making sense. But the point it is, is um, I just came on to share a little piece of my story right quick. I didn't know. Like I said, this wasn't scripted or nothing like that. So just to share a little piece of, you know, something about me. that maybe y'all was wondering. Maybe y'all didn't know uh, why I am, how I am, or just that I am. Um, one of these days, I'm going to make a video in Spanish. Just because, just for my people que hablan español y quieren oírme hablar contigo en español para ustedes. <laughs> Con un poco de sazón, you know. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping that as I continue to make these videos, I share things. And like I said, God has me being transparent out here for whatever reason. So uh, <laughs> just hoping that um, 
I don't know. And hearing my story, you can relate and you can know like, okay, cool. I ain't tripping. <laughs> it's really wilding out here. Or um, I hope my story helps somebody uh, know that you're not alone. You're loved. All of that good stuff. Uh, I'm different. I'm weird. I'm very much an anomaly. And words mean things. Hold up. An anomaly. Because I know I'm not the only anomaly. Maybe you watching me and you are one too. Uh, anomaly is a deviation from the common rule type arrangement or form, right? One that is abnormal. Now, it doesn't mean anything's wrong with you. It just means you're not normal. You don't do things the normal way or maybe you don't fit into everybody's box or whatever, right? I know I've experienced that my entire life. But anyways, I ain't gonna keep y'all, uh, I don't know. If y'all wanna know something else, ask me a question, send me a message, whatever, comment, all the stuff. Um, I hope, excuse me, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Guess what, though? I had a hell of a year. Yeah. <laughs> but I still got a month and some change, and I'm going to make it count. Uh, life has been lifing, but it's still, you know, it's still, it's, it ain't all bad. <laughs> That's all I got for right now. Mira, si nadie te ha dicho hoy, esta día que te estoy hablando a ti mismo. If nobody has told you today, on this day, huh? I want to tell you that I love you, and I love me. Because listen, life be lifing out here. But guess what? We are going to prosper regardless. Catch on the flip side. Bye.